This is Justin. We're going to do another tutorial. This one comes on a question that I was asked on a previous tutorial that we did, which was adding an MP player to our website, and we used playlist.com to do so. So the question was, well, now that I got this playlist, how do I customize a skin on it, make a custom skin? So in this tutorial, that's what we're going to do. So hopefully I answer your question and make it easy for you. Um, first thing we need to do is go to your, uh, go to playlist.com and once you're in playlist.com go up here to share my playlist I'll click on that go to your playlist I'm gonna kinda of try to move as quick as I can on this one and once we do that we're in share my playlist it says custom skin you're gonna to wanna to click yes I'm not gonna do it quite yet actually yes I am just to show you and once we do that, we have our HTTP URL of custom skin image. We can't just pull an image off our desktop and put it on here. We need a URL. That's the only way it's going to work. So, but before we do that, we need to find out how big, what's our dimensions of our player. So there's my player right there. I'm going to go to Get Code. Once I do that, I'm going to see that it's 450 by 470. So when I get my image, and we're going to use photobucket.com to get our image. When I get my image, I need to resize it to 450 by 470. So, and that's how we do it. You're going to need to sign up for photobucket.com. It's free, very simple, easy to use. Once you sign up, you'll create an album. Name the album how you want it. Um, I'm going to go to my albums and start over here. I already pulled the image just to try to make this tutorial a little bit quicker for you. Um, you can also upload your own photo if you do something on Photoshop or if you made your own picture and it is on your desktop, this is where you'll upload your photo. And uh, just very important to make sure that the size is correct at 450 by 470 or whatever your player ends up being. And go open up your photo. If you're pulling one off a of photo bucket, what you're going to need to do is go to find stuff, popular, top categories, find the image you want. That's what I did on this one. I just found an image that I wanted to use. And it seems like it's running a little bit on the slow side. So hopefully it'll pick up the pace here. And there it is. So here's the image that I've downloaded that I want to use. I'm going to double click on it, make it a little bit bigger here. So I can edit it and change the sizes of it. So now that I have my own album, that's where I'm able to, uh, now that I'm signed up, that's where I'm able to um, go ahead and make these adjustments. If I'm not signed up and don't have an account, I will not be able to make these adjustments. So we're going to go to resize. Once we go into resize, we notice, oh, wait a minute. That's not the size of my player. So obviously, let's click on more options. Now we'll click on more options. And as this website's running slow, either that or my internet's running slow today, which it usually never, ever does. But it seems like uh, that might be the case today. I have to go through and clean up a few things or redo the router. So while we wait for that to load, now I'm not going to tell you any jokes or anything because I'm really not good at that. Oh, I am, but I have to have a few beers in me before I do. Um, now we have this height, this new size. So that's what we're going to change. I've already done it. Very important right here is that you need to uncheck key proportions. Make sure that is unchecked because what's going to happen is, and it's a default on it every time you load it, is if I have 450 by 470, if I change it to 250, then all of a sudden the width is going to change according to um, its proportion. So make sure that's unchecked so you get the exact size that you need, which is 450 by 470. Um, once you're done with that, you can apply. Click apply or um, and or replace original. Don't save a copy, just put replace original, otherwise you're going to end up with a couple of these pictures on your album and probably get confused on which one you need the uh, URL for. So, now that I did that, I'm going to go back to this picture. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and click replace original. Probably going to be quicker that way. Only because then I'll have to go back to my album, click on the picture, click on it again. And uh, since things are running slow, I'm just going to do it this way. And good for being part of the tutorial.
Okay, now that I have that picture, I'm going to make sure I click on it. Because I want to make sure that I'm inside of this picture to uh, get the code for it. So now that I know I'm in it, I'm going to go over to this right hand side over here, my computer, and it says share this photo. So that's what I want. And what I need is my direct link. That's the direct link to my photo album on Photo Bucket to that image, the image from which we put on there. Once I click on it, it says copied, I know I'm good. Now we're going to have to go back into playlist.com and I'm going to go click the back button here and get back into where we were. Now is where we go to custom skin. Yes, we have our size. I think we're good to go. Um, very important, if you go to how do I get a URL, if you click on here, you may have done it already. I hope you didn't, but in, even if you did, it's okay. You'll see it says 435 by 270, which is our what most players width is. Well, we found out ours was different. Ours is 450 by 270. So please, please, if you do do that, your image isn't going to come out right, and it's not going to look good on your player. It's going to be distorted or not distorted, but you know, you're going to be missing some or it'll do a repeat on you. Another very important thing we need to do is since we already copied the code, we need to delete HTTP. Make sure you delete that because if you don't, then you're going to double that up and your link is not going to work. Once I do that, Command or Control V, and now here we go. We have our URL to the picture, the image, or whatever we uploaded or copied, and it's there. So now let's go to Generate Custom Skin Preview. And there it is. We have our new skin. We have our background image for the player that I like. Now, make sure you have Dreamweaver open. Actually, first of all, first of all we need to get the code for the player, because if we don't get the code, we're kind of screwed on that, huh? So, embed code. We can go down here to copy. And now we see it's copied. Now get into Dreamweaver or whatever program you're using, which I already have opened up. And since I already have this player that we did before, I'm going to go ahead and delete it since we just went ahead and pretty much did a new one. I'm going to click refresh here a second. I'm going to make sure that I'm where I want to be. Command or Control V to paste your new code for your new playlist or your new MP player rather. And there we go. Here it is. Now let's take a preview of it. Look at it in Firefox and see if we got what we need. I have the volume off so you're not going to hear any music start from mine. Um, and there it is. That looks pretty darn cool. I like that. I hope you guys like it too. And I hope this tutorial worked out good for you. Remember, we can delete all this stuff at the bottom. I don't know. You might want to check out and make sure that um, Playlist will let you do that. And we can resize our MP player just going through um, just going through our code in Dreamweaver. We can go through and find, all, find where all our sizes are. And it's going to be in there a few different times. So find your sizes. Minimize it to whatever works for you, or you can drag on a corner, shrink it up, however you want to do it. Anyhow, that's it for the tutorial. Hope it worked out good for you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Any questions, comments, please feel free to give me a call. Subscribe, and please, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, guys.